Milton, what are we doing today? What is this? Is this for you? It's written for Milton and this is for Herky. Good morning guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video, we will be trying out a poopy potty potty solution. Oh, there she goes. Oh my gosh, she's eating. Oh, no. Herky, don't. Herky's so cute. Are you wagging your tail? Is it yours? Is this yours? Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a bit different. Instead of doing a vlog, it's going to be a video dedicated on this poopy potty. Just to start off, this is a potty solution for indoors or small apartments and condo living like we do. It's not only for potty training, but it's also for uh, weather conditions that are not ideal. The concept of this, it's, it's real grass, okay? Uh, it's 100% real grass. It's a greener, environmentally friendly solution rather than pee pads. And for dogs like Herky and Milton that are not potty trained, this is a much better solution than pee pads. So the concept of this is that grass will naturally absorb the smell and any pee that your dog does on it. It's not going to smell as long as you actually change it out every two to three weeks as recommended. So we got two of them from this company, Poopy Potty. They're a local Montreal company, and they kindly sent us this. And side note, if you follow us on Instagram, there will be there, there's a giveaway right now for two of these Poopy Potties if you're in the Montreal area. So check out the giveaway. It is still live and happening right now. So I would like to point out that the customer service was excellent. They delivered this exactly on the day and at the time that they said they would. They left it outside our condo door. The owner, Teresa, was lovely enough to even write me a handwritten note, which is super sweet. Thank you, Teresa and Jimbo. Show the note. Look at how cute. Aww. It says, it was my name. It says, thank you. Look at this lovely. Those are great business owners. Yeah, it's very sweet. I'm not even surprised if she might have done this. Are you okay? Does it say to Herky and Milton? On the grass it says to Herky and Milton, but this says it's for me. Herky, do you love your look, grass look, patch? Look. <laughs> These girls, man. <laughs> Don't eat my card, please. Oh, she, th she thinks it's the cone. Yeah. All right, so I'd like to point out that this material I really like because it's like a plastified, it's a glossy cardboard, so it makes it... I don't know. The finish is very classy. It's very nice. The branding with the green and the white is super clean, super green. I love it. And I love that the logo is a Cavalier. If I'm not mistaken, I think they did a Cavalier, right? That's a definite Cavalier. Like this that's, is, this is Milton Bowser. and this is Herky. Yep. So do they ship elsewhere than just Montreal? Right now they're only doing Montreal. So if you're in luck, you can get some poopy potties. Uh, there's other brands doing other areas, but these these people are brand new, and so I'd love to just say a nice word for them and put the word out there. If you're watching us from Montreal, do consider these poopy potties. So, are you ready to tell your story? Yep. Okay. So, guys, I'm pretty excited about these grass patches because I threw a little hissy fit crisis the other day. It was like a torrential rain outside. It was just nonstop, relentless all day, just like. So I was like, okay, it's midnight, Herky Milton needs to go out. I guess we'll just try our luck. I bring them downstairs and there's like thunder, lightning, like super strong wind, just like rain blowing. Like, I don't know if there's videos of this. I don't think so, but anyhow, they haven't peed since like 6 p.m. They needed to pee at midnight in order to sleep and, you know, comfortably and not wake us up in the morning, like super early. So we took them downstairs. And then when I took them downstairs, they were completely soaking wet like it was a shower. Like they were just out of the bath. And literally, they went outside for about two minutes. And obviously, they did not pee because they had a panic attack with the wind blowing in their face like that. And they're completely drenched. Nobody peed. I was completely soaking wet. I had to go change even my boxers because they were so wet. We had to blow dry them at midnight. It was a nightmare. So I told my... We really need to like try out some grass patches because I'm lazy and I do not want to be walking around a rainstorm at midnight outside. So hopefully, thank you again Poopy Potty for setting out us these. Hopefully we're going to test these out on the balcony and 
Oh, hi, Eric. How's it going? It's going to be a good, uh, like, number two option to do number twos for Hercule Milton <laughs> on the balcony. Maybe for days where we're, like, it's early morning and we're just too lazy and, you know, they could get comfortable by peeing a bit and just going back inside or, like, you know, in the winters when it's, like, really snowy, stormy, you know, on a walking ice and stuff like that. Let me remind you that this is not going to replace a walk ever. It's just, like, a backup plan on the balcony, which I'll show you after, where Herky and Milton can do their business emergency. Herky, are you ready to try out your grass? All right, so... Yeah. How do we do this? Okay, so here's the challenge. Hergie and Milton have been potty trained, obviously, for a very long time now, six years and four years, to go outside in the grass. So they'll only most likely pee on grass if they really have to, to go on pavement. But this artificial grass that we have, you can show that after, like, the rule. This, they do not pee on ever. They simply do not pee on it. And I have a feeling it's going to be quite difficult to get them to pee on uh, grass patches. They might lie in it, they might chew it, but I doubt that they're going to pee in it. So it's going to require us to retrain them that they can pee on these grass patches. So we'll, we'll figure out how we're going to approach the situation. I think that um, with my old dogs, when I needed to, them to pee and poo somewhere, or like the same way you would train a puppy, you take some of their old poo and then you leave them on there so they go, oh, okay, this spot here, I can do it. And this is also why it's so cool that Poopy Potty hooked us up with two patches because I think one patch is too small for them to like, you know, zhuzh around and like pick a spot. So right now that we have two, we're <laughs> having <laughs> <laughs> my friend Romeo. We're gonna have more surface area to try to get the job done. Okay, <laughs> girls are anxious, let's go. Oh, there's tapes in these. Fresh grass. What's this? What's this? We'd have to put the wool. Nothing's going on it already. Oh, so fresh. So, I like the fact that this box, as I mentioned, is like a. So, I like the fact that this box is a card. It's a glossy cardboard. The other one was not glossy, they kind of tend to get wet and like soggy faster. The experiment starts. So Herky just decided to lie in it and eat it. They love grass. They love real grass. Oh my god, they're just eating it. <laughs> Herky, that's not a dinner. That's where you pee now. It's where you pee. They've been asking to eat this since we received the box. So this is real grass, guys. There's soil and everything underneath here. And they replace it by sending us a, a whole new box. You just put this in a garbage bag and dump it down the chute. Basically, you put this in the garbage or compost and this in recycling. That's crazy. Listen, pee pee. Go. Pee pee. Pee pee. If Milton pees on it first, exactly. then Herky might. Pee pee, Milton. Pee pee. Pee pee. Pee pee. Pee pee. Pee pee. Good girl. Pee pee. Pee pee. Are you girls just going to lie there? Nothing's like, I'm not going to pee in my own bed. <laughs> it's comfortable. So what is going to be your technique right now to try to get them? What The next time they poo, I'm going to bring back the potty bag and leave the poo on one of the beds here of theirs. Oh yeah? Yeah, so hopefully that gets them going. I thought it was supposed to smell like pee. And... How I did it for Ned, my previous dog, is I had her pee on a napkin, like when, whenever she peed downstairs. I'll maybe put a napkin in there, and then bring a napkin up here and put a stone on top of it so that it, it smells smell. like pee there.
Girls, how do you like your bed? It's not a bed. It's your potty. It's your toilet bowl. It's your emergency toilet bowl. Milton looks at me like I'm crazy. She's like, no, it's a bed. So oh, hurt. Oh, hurt. Okay, right now is exactly their afternoon potty time. They usually go out at 3 p.m. So they probably need to go right now. We're gonna try to keep Herky inside. I'm gonna try to entice Milton to pee outside with some treats and tell her, her to go potty. I need some treats for that. You stay with Herky, okay? Okay, so this first attempt did not work, as you can see, I don't, I think they just want to use it as a bed. So our next step in this training is going to be, uh, we're going to go take, take them downstairs, try to wet some paper towel with their urine smell, and then leave it here, and hopefully, later tonight or tomorrow, they will smell it, and they will go hot. Alright, uh, this is quite the experiment, guys. So when they pee, I'm going to try to have them pee on this, or I'm going to dab it. And then we're gonna bring this, put it on the grass here, and we're gonna bring up the poo too. Experiment is on. You're so equipped. Milton is very fast to pee, so we're gonna have to act very fast. Milton, look. Pee pee. Pee pee. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yes! Mission accomplished! <laughs> People are gonna think we're weirdos! Good job, Herky. And see, Herky always pees right on top of it, so this is... Oh no, don't do that! It's too much! Oh man! We have two fine specimens pee, and I'm stuck. Good job, girls! Let's see if they poo now. Good job, girls! Okay, so we got a pooper. Yay, this is a very efficient walk. I have a poo bag. It's all in there. Girls, you think we're weird? This is quite the disgusting experiment, huh? You're a weirdo, mom. That's it, right there. Where? Look at this raw food oh, poo. It's as big as it gets. That's great, raw food is great. Okay, let's see if the small one will poop. Milton's really upset because she wants to go in the backfield. Floofies. Do you guys think they look so fluffy? They recently got a bath. Actually, just yesterday they got a bath. Yay! Yay! Double poop -a you girls are all entangled. Guys, this is so gross. So we're going to bring this outside. We're going to put it on, on some sort of corner here. And hopefully next time that they come out, they'll smell it. Let's go. To create a precedent. It's a surprise for Herky and Milton for the next time they come out. <laughs> <laughs> this is so gross. Yuck! <laughs> I don't think they're gonna go here again if there's that, but we'll see. They're learning, they're analyzing, they're smart girls. Great girls. Did you learn, Herky? Milton's like, this smells very familiar. Did you learn? She's learning. You see her brain computing like a computer. Good 
tip. Pipi. Okay, friends, try number two for today, the girls. No, this is try number three oh, of the day. Three. The girls are not getting the fact that they could pee on the grass patch, and I totally understand them. Yeah. It's counter nature for them to pee on the balcony. Yeah. But let's try. Heike? You want to go try pee in the grass patch? Go, baby. Heike. Pippi! Pippi! Look! 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 Brenton! Brenton! Pippi! 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 Pippi Milton! Milton's like, why is there a napkin in I know. She's, she sniffed it so hard this morning. Good job, Milton. Pee pee. Pee pee. Pee pee. Pee pee. Pee pee. Come on, pee pee. Pee pee. She's so afraid of the napkin. Pee pee. Pee pee, Milton. Pee pee. So advice number one, if you want your dogs to pee on grass patches, train them young to do it. Everything, train them young. <laughs> Baby. So she's just chilling. Okay, so we try another time? Another time. They really just consider these really comfortable sitting chairs. Yep. I had so much hope. It's not over. Okay, good morning guys. We're gonna attempt to make them pee on the balcony for the second time today. Mine tried at 7.30 a.m. Now it's around 9 something a.m. Huggy, you ready to try again? You gonna go pee on that grass? Pee pee, Huggy. Pee pee. Try you guys. We're gonna, keep, we're gonna keep trying. We're gonna keep trying. Okay. You think you're ever gonna pee on the pee pad? You think you're ever gonna pee on the grass patch? 
Is it counterintuitive for you? Is it out of your habit? So guys, uh, final words of the experiment. It, it is unconclusive. Herky and Milton up to date will not pee nor poo on the grass patches. And that was expected because they've been trained for like six years or four years to always go outside to hold it in. So they think the balcony is part of the house. They're not going to go on it. But we are not giving up. We're going to keep training them. We're going to keep giving them access to the grass patch on the balcony. And hopefully one day when it's raining or snowstorming, they will be smart enough to use it to pee or poop. Hey, Herky. Hey, Herky. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We're going to keep trying to pee and poop. Try to pee and poop. Try to pee and poop. We love you guys. We'll see you next time.